Hello everybody and welcome back. It is Michael from Hollowed Thrills back with another video and we have a very special video. As you might be able to tell behind me, we are here in Allentown, Pennsylvania at Dorney Park for the media event for Iron Menace. Huge shout out to Ryan and Dorney Park for allowing us to come out here. We already have our media passes for today. Um, the opening ceremony starts at 10.30, so we have a little bit of time to kind of look around the park, but um, we started over here by the whip and we are gonna be walking towards the steel yard. I am super excited for this coaster. It is a monumentous day for this park. It has been a while since they have gotten anything new, so I am super excited for the park and just the, the area in general. But before we get anything, please make sure you're subscribed and have the bell notifications turned on to get notified whenever I post a video. And also make sure you're following both Instagram and Twitter. The links are down in the description below. But let's head over to the Steel Yard to check out what is new here at Dorney Park for this upcoming season. As we're making our walk down towards the Steel Yard, they have a whole bunch of information regarding Steel Menace and the story and the mystery behind the menace talking about Hiram McTavish and, and the steel mill and basically the entire backstory regarding the new coaster. Super exciting stuff. I love the backstory that they have developed for this coaster. It is awesome. So I noticed this as we we're walking up, but they have a new seating area here in the former plot of where Monster used to be. It's upsetting that Monster's gone, but this is a much needed seating area in this side of the park. So definitely welcome and it's right next to the new uh, food area that they have here. So the Iron Mill Bar and Grill, they're currently working on the facade of it. It does not look like it's done yet. There's still a bunch of work being done on the inside, but super excited for this restaurant. I mean, it looks amazing and we can kind of see on the inside, like I said, that they are working on it. Um, unfortunately, I believe that the exterior like walk-up beer service area is not part of the plans anymore which was a, a cool thing that they were gonna do but unfortunately that got shut down by the city but still regardless is gonna be an awesome new food area as they have instead put a uh, coca-cola area right inside that door there they have a looks like a quick service uh, drink area called the sipping container here big in a big old shipping container that is really cool I just I love the theming and the seating areas that they've added to this area. Like, they have really revitalized this area of the park. Look at this beautiful possessed sign. Oh my gosh. They really went all out on the, the painting of this. It looks amazing and really now fits the area for the steel yard. As you can see, Iron Menace is right past us there. Looks beautiful. But I can almost assure you that Possess is probably going to get a, new, a fresh coat of paint next year to really fit the steel yard for this upcoming season. Um, it's, yeah, it definitely sticks out a, like a sore thumb right now, but a nice station overhaul and a repaint of the track to fit the steel yard theming would do it well. Steel yard gifts is also supposed to be open today, as well as a whole bunch of other stuff. So let's look at the back of our media card here. Uh, looks like we're gonna be getting on Iron Menace, empty buckets, and there's gonna be a lights on walkthrough tour of the Ghost in the Machine, the Iron Menace themed haunted house that they opened here for Haunt last year. So I'm super excited for all the stuff that we're gonna be checking out today. Look at that awesome sign for Iron Menace. Oh my gosh, that is beautiful. And my dad actually pointed this out. They have lights back here behind us that look like they're gonna be angled directly at the sign and there could be some like uh, reactive paint on there that could react with like a black light. That's gonna look really nice at night. Unfortunately, we're here during the day, so we're not gonna be able to see it, but if you're here for opening day or for opening weekend for Dorney Park, you might be able to see that at night. So you can see there at the bottom of the drop, they have that brick surrounding kind of like the, the lava pit of the furnace. That looks really cool. I just want to say how blessed I feel to be up here, how blessed our Dorney Park team feels. Thank you all so much for being with us here at Dorney Park in Wildwater Kingdom. We're thrilled that you're here for this extraordinary day in the park's history, which is 140 years. So thank you for being here. Seriously, we appreciate it.
My name is Ryan Eldridge. For those of you that don't know, I am the Public Relations and Communications Manager here at Dorney Park and Wild Water Kingdom. For 140 years, Dorney Park has delivered millions of wonderful memories to generations of guests. From time-honored roller coasters like Thunderhawk, which, did I mention, turned 100 years old this year. Happy birthday, Thunderhawk. Happy birthday. We won't break out in song just yet. Dorney Park has also delivered new thrills like Iron Menace, and we have set the standard for fun here in the Northeast. And of course, while the big news of our 2024 season is the monstrosity behind me, the Northeast first dive roller coaster, the Iron Menace, we've got so much more in store for you this year. Iron Menace is, of course, at the heart of an all-new themed area, which no doubt you are now experiencing, our new steel yard themed area, and did I mention, it looks beautiful, and it harkens back to the rich industrial history of the Lehigh Valley. In the steel yard, we have the Iron Mill Grill and Bar, which is going to be serving up treats, hot and cold for you throughout the summer, and then those crispy fall nights, we've got chicken sandwiches, pulled pork sandwiches, flatbreads, just to name a few, and did I mention, our all new Iron Menace Lager, brought to you by the folks at Funk and Illumination Brewing. Hey, they're fantastic. Thank you so much for that. Also, it's great. You gotta try it. We didn't stop at the restaurant, though. You also get to explore Steel Yard Gifts with all kinds of fantastic merchandise. I see them applauding back there. Posters, hats, shirts, nano coasters, everything you could want. And did I mention, it is open today. So please go in there, grab your Iron Menace merchandise, and then grab it for those loved ones in your life that love roller coasters. There's a lot of great gear in there today. We also have our Flying Scooters ride, which some of you know the former name, but we now reference it as MT Buckets, and we hope you get that family experience on that ride, which is conveniently located right by the Iron Menace. All right, it's time to get fired up about today's main attraction, the Iron Menace. Here to describe our newest store ride is Clayton Lawrence, corporate creative producer at Cedar Fair Entertainment Company. Give it up for Clayton. When we envisioned a new thrill ride for Dorney Park, we knew we needed to do design a completely unique experience to the Northeast. And in doing so, we wanted to make sure it was rooted in the Lehigh Valley and the unique industrial paranormal history that is in the area. In just a few moments, we are, again, we are going to invite you guys to experience this ride for yourself. And for those of you who think it might be too scary, please enjoy the rest of the area and the land and the theming that is involved in the steel yard. And now it is my honor to introduce you to Dorney Park and Wildwater Kingdom's Vice President and General Manager, Jessica Naderman. Creating a monumental ride like Iron Menace can only happen in a cooperative and collaborative environment, which is exactly what the Lehigh Valley is all about. Dorney Park has been a leader in providing jobs, opportunities, investment, and recreation to the Lehigh Valley for 140 years. We take great pride in our responsibility to make a difference here at home and in our region. And we believe this ride further supports our commitment. Every year, we welcome over a million guests from all over the region. While these folks may come for the Northeast First Dive Roller Coaster or one of the nation's best water parks, they also get a chance to see what the Lehigh Valley is all about. They stay at local hotels, enjoy drinks and food at our restaurants, buy gifts at local shops, and visit our historic landmarks. And they may just fall in love with the Lehigh Valley, creating ripples that extend well beyond South Whitehall Township. Make no mistake, Iron Menace isn't just about an investment in our park. It's an investment in our community and region. It's furthering our commitment to support the Lehigh Valley economic development for another 140 years. Thank you again for being here today. And I'm thrilled that you all get to experience Iron Menace here very soon. All right. Are you ready? Yeah. Are you ready? All right. Who's ready for the 160 foot climb, 95 degree drop, and 64 mile per hour speeds? Who's ready? That's better. Who's ready to flip 180 degrees, spin 360, and experience the world's first tilted loop on a dive coaster? Woo! There you are. If you're ready for all this, today's your lucky day. We are now going to watch as Iron Menace makes its first 160-foot climb.
What a presentation by Ryan and the rest of the work, the team here at Dorney Park. That was fantastic. And we are actually now heading to the station for our first rides on Iron Menace. I'm excited. This is going to be awesome. There is a ton of people here though, so there's going to be a little bit of a wait, but we are so ready. This station looks beautiful. Look at this station, the steel stacks, the Tavish steel. Wow, this looks awesome. There's our test seat. It is a vest restraint system, as always, but I'm excited. I love the, the colors of the station, the wear. This is, looks beautiful. I'm, I'm so impressed. Look at the detail that has gone into this station. Everything has that kind of rustic feel. Idle hands are the devil's tools. We've got punch cards over there. And of course, the office of our proprietor, our McTavish. Look at the station here. It looks awesome. Uh, we are we are coming up here on our time. We're getting front, baby.
All right, so after our two rides on Iron Menace here, let's do a little bit of a review. So right off the bat, this has blew my expectations out of the water. I was not expecting much out of this coaster. I was not the biggest fan of dive coasters heading into this. I've ridden a couple dives. They've just been so-so, and the fact this didn't have a second drop and it didn't have a splashdown element, I was just, like I said, not looking forward to it. But completely, completely blew my expectations out of the water. The drop is fantastic. The elements are fast-paced. They are hard-hitting. They are really just in your face just kind of forceful they are awesome and the tilted loop is a very interesting element and just everything about this coaster is perfect for this park as you can see it's it's starting to go up behind us again but yeah perfect addition to this park this is a fantastic coaster and one you definitely are going to need to stop by and check out here at Dorney Park and once again huge shout out to Dorney Park for allowing us to come out here and ride this before it opens officially this weekend. Um, just wow. Just wow, you guys. They have a winner here. Okay, so now let's head into Steelyard Gifts to check out some of the merchandise that they have here for Iron Menace and the rest of the Steelyard area here at Dorney Park. So let's look at some stuff that we got. We got some Iron Menace hats, some t-shirts, some magnets. Love that design for the shirt. Some kind of Stanley cups. Really awesome. A really cool 3D magnet for Iron Menace. Of course, you gotta get a pin. Love me a pin. Might get one of those. Water bottles, other miscellaneous stuff. Ooh, and they have some like kind of retro looking designs as well. These are really cool. That is awesome. I love that. And this is more of like a baseball tee design. This one, wow, is super soft. And I love the kind of bluish color for the sleeves. I think that's the back on the front. It just says Iron Menace in an orange font. I like the uh, Forge Your Own Fate as well. That's the, uh, the nice tagline that they have for it. Ooh, and a really cool Iron Menace fanny pack, as well as a drawstring bag down there. They have a ton of merch for Iron Menace. This is awesome. I love this long sleeve shirt and and this short sleeve. This actually might be one of my favorite things here, probably right next to this one. I saw this one of the people working here wearing that, and that is an awesome shirt design. Very simple, and they also have it on a hat as well, as well as this cool cup and tumbler. A lot of the merchandise here is awesome. And of course, there is what I was referencing. They have the poster for it as well as, of course, gotta get a nano coaster and they have some pennants down there as well. A lot of cool merchandise here for Iron Menace. And with that, our day here is going to be done for the Iron Menace media event here at Dorney Park. Once again, huge shout out to Dorney Park for inviting us out here. Um, I am super appreciative of you guys inviting us out here to check this out. I'm so glad that I was able to get a ride on Iron Menace before it opened. And once again, I will say you guys need, need, need to come out here and check out this coaster. This is a great addition to this park and a great addition to uh, the area with Possessed down here at the new Steel Yard. It is fantastic. Um, I rode all three rows, front, middle, and back. Most forceful, of course, is going to be the back. You got the, the most air time at back there. But the front, personally, for me, is my favorite on literally any dive coaster just because you can see where you're going. You can really kind of experience the whole coaster. But just in general, though, any of the spots on this coaster are going to be a great ride. They are fantastic. And the overall theming of this coaster is literally second to none here at Dorney Park. It is amazing. They did a killer job on this coaster and I cannot wait for all of you people to see this when you stop here this season. But if you guys did enjoy this video, please make sure you drop a like and also comment down below. Are you planning on coming out to Dorney Park to check out Iron Menace? I would like to know down in the comments below. But as always, I'm Michael from Hollow Thrills giving you the all clear and all clear means you're out of here. See you guys next time.